four comes up quickly. Mulligan from Ask Tom, Gals Cavalier and Viking Flagship. And they're all safely over that one as they race to the top end of the race course and turn right-handed and make the descent into the back. Mulligan and Ask Tom matching strides at a good pace. Three lengths now in front of Gales Cavalier with Viking flagship keeping tabs in fourth, just a length behind. As they start to make the descent now, they'll jump four fences in the back straight. The last of them is an open ditch. Heading towards the first of them, Mulligan and Ask Tom matching strides with Gales Cavalier three lengths back in the third. A gap of two lengths to Viking flagship and then a length back to Royal Mount Brown. As they prepare to come out of the dip and jump the first in the back straight. Number five, Mulligan and Ask Tom matching strides about six lengths now in front. I can't see oh so risky doesn't seem to be uh, with the field as the leaders head towards fence number six. Mulligan and Ask Tom clear of Gales Cavalier and Viking flagship with Royal Mount Brown laboring about four lengths behind them. Heading now towards the next fence in the back straight, Mulligan and Ask Tom land together. Viking flagship coming after them with Gales Cavalier and Royal Mount Brown getting a long way behind. Heading towards the third in the back straight, fence number seven, Mulligan by a neck from Ask Tom. Gales Cavalier closing up in third with Viking flagship just behind him. And uh, those four have the race between them. They're a long way in front of Royal Mount Brown as they head to the final open ditch, fence number eight. And Mulligan goes on by a length and a half, comes to it now, jumped it well, extends the lead to two. Ask Tom has come off the bridle. He's been ridden now by Russ Garrity. Gales Cavalier is traveling well and moving in pursuit of Mulligan as they turn out of the back and Viking flagship is right on terms in fourth as they start to make the turn out of the back. Mulligan has the advantage, a length and a half in front. Ask Tom has been ridden back into second place. Gales Cavalier is half a length away in third with Viking flagship still traveling kindly for Richard Johnson in fourth, but Mulligan has gone three lengths clear as they start to make the turn into the straight. Four to jump with uh, Mulligan clear Gales Cavalier in second, then Viking flagship. Ask Tom has gone out like a light. He's back in fourth and weakening rapidly. Viking flagship now coming up stand side to take on stablemate Mulligan as they come over the first in the straight. They've quickly gone clear from Gales Cavalier. Now they've got three more fences to jump. It's the Nicholson two clear. Mulligan by a length from Viking flagship, still traveling well in second. They've drawn a long way in front of Gales Cavalier. Ask Tom has been pulled up two from home. Mulligan with Viking flagship only a length down in second. Gales Cavaliers, ten lengths back in third as they head towards the twelfth and final fence. Royal Man Brown is only just jumping two out. One more fence to jump in the Holden Gold Cup and Viking Flagship takes up the running at the last. Viking Flagship going on now from Mulligan back in second. Gales Cavalier in third. Viking Flagship one of the most popular horses in training under Richard Johnson. He's storming clear of Mulligan and up towards the line Viking Flagship was always going well and he's lifted the Holden Gold Cup up. A tremendous performance. Mulligan is back in second. Gales Cavalier couldn't live with him at the straight. He's third, and Royal Mount Brown will be fourth. Yeah, Exeter Viking flagship wins at nine to one. Mulligan second at two to one. Eventually, they said Ask Tom off as clear favourite at seven.